Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition game number three part two where we have just done a crap ton. It was like the longest part I've ever made for <laughs> the Mass Effect series but it was well worth it I think um, because it was a crazy beginning and now we are on the Citadel, Citadel and I'm here because I have to go tell the council about the Reaper threat. And I just realized it says go to Counselor Udina. So what the heck happened to Counselor Anderson? That's what I want to know because I don't like Udina at all. But before I do that, I wanted to go see Caden. But, you know, I noticed that there's actually no tab for assignments on this game. So I can't even I don't even know how to go see Caden. So I'm just going to be exploring to try to find my way. So I went to the map and it says here, like this is a lounge area. There's this person, Diana there. I assume we need to talk to her. So I will just go and kind of do a little bit of, well, there's a lot of people, eh? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna, oh, what's- Normandy, right? I saw it dock. It was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? He did. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room. And this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, so first of all, I had absolutely no idea that Diana existed before this part. I have literally not played this game in so long, I could not remember. Maybe she's like a DLC, I don't even know. So, um, I'm just like continuing to look around. Um, okay, okay. I see some people wearing Liara's fashions from last season or last game. That's cool, that's cool. All right, so uh, look at this guy walking around, oh my God. Okay, so that's to the Normandy, so I don't need to do anything over there. Um, okay, how do I, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go here. Oh, that's it. Okay, so this is basically, okay, okay. This is definitely my favorite Citadel. I know it's not the biggest, but it's definitely my favorite Citadel. Okay, so now I'm gonna go past this checkpoint. Oh my gosh, so cool. Okay, what, what are we doing over here? Oh, lots of Turians. All right, and over here, okay. And then what, what do I, what is that part for? Is it just, just for show? Oh, I can't even look at my map, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is just, yes, yeah, security checkpoint. Okay. All right, so let me hold on. <laughs> let me just click save again. Okay. I am freaking out right now. All right, let's do this. And elevator use, Welcome, yes. Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Hospital, yes. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Okay, I'm back here. So apparently, um, Avina's here, uh, and I haven't talked to Avina. So I want to know where she is, uh, but I don't see her. Oh, there she is. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSEC personnel for routine verification. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. 
For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing at the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. What else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access further information about this bay. This is the airlock currently assigned to the Systems Alliance ship Normandy. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent vistas for which the Citadel is renowned. What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those who wish to speak to our new arrivals. It is located next to security processing. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Thanks, Davina. Okay, so, so I actually don't want to go to the hospital yet because apparently there is another, like I can get Caden a gift of some sort, but I don't see a place to give him one. You have to buy it at the Serta Foundation and I'm not seeing Where's that. So I'm actually going to go to the embassies and see if maybe it's there. And if it starts to cinema, oh, okay, so it doesn't. Okay. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, hold on. So, okay. Oh, yeah, I don't see it e here either. Okay, so. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking Bay E24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. For medical needs, the... The Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Where's the Spectre Requisitions Office? The Spectre Requisitions District Office is down the hallway to your left. Note that requisition forms are available only to agents whose biometrics are verified and on file. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The Human Embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not seeing the Serta Foundation, at least on the map. So I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, just explore a little bit. So wait, I'm over here, so I'm near five. Okay, so office suites. I'm not really sure if I do anything over here, or if I can get in there right now. Doesn't really look like it. Um, so I might have to do the cinematic before I go to see Caden, because, um, yeah, I really want to buy him that bottle of some, and I don't know where to get it from, so, yeah. But we, spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only... He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am, but... The notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. That's so sad. You know that he's dead. 
I looked up something else. I think that I can go to the hospital. It's not actually a store. It's just a console. <laughs> Honestly, I would. I will never do this. It's only because I really want to buy this bottle of wine for Kaden because I think that in order to romance him, you have to actually buy the bottle of wine. And I don't want to mess that up because that would suck. It's like the very beginning of it. Okay. Um... I don't see a console anywhere. <laughs> okay, let me just, let me just, you know what? Let me look at the map. This is freaking me out. This is freaking me out because I'm so excited. Okay, um, let's go over, oh, here. There we go. Yep. And there we go, got it. Got it, got it. Okay. Okay, so now I have it. So now I'm so excited. Okay, where do I go? Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone over here? So let me talk to Avina again. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Huerta Memorial Hospital. The human specialist medical officer in charge is Dr. Michel. Also, please note that specialists for all known Citadel species are on call. Please ensure that you observe proper decontamination protocols at all times while in this area. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking bay E24. The Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the city. You can really cover treatment for any kind of species here? Huerta Memorial surpasses all requirements needed for any multi-species medical facility. This facility's attendant levels can also replicate the living conditions needed to accommodate other, more exotic species. Aquatic environments, for example, are available on short notice. What about the medical staff? How do they deal with so many species? All personnel are required to undergo mandatory and regular psychological evaluations, as well as refresher courses. Hospital administration understands how difficult it can be for staff to deal with such a wide variety of patients. It is imperative they be offered the support needed to retain their current high standards. What else is in the area? The Huerta Memorial Hospital has experts from every major race and residency, with many specializing in Xeno medicine. The facility works with prestigious medical universities from around the galaxy, offering internships to residents and nurses. With access to cutting-edge technology and support from major pharmaceutical companies, the hospital ensures the best care to its patients. Where'd the hospital get its name? It is named after President Christopher Huerta of Earth's United North American States. The donor who requested the tribute expressed the desire to remain anonymous. Thank you. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Um, oh my god. Dr. Michelle, Dr. Chakwas, they're both here. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. I love it! Okay, where's Dr. Shock was? Commander Shepard, good to see you. 
Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Kate doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. All right, um, so let me see, where am I going? Okay, so Dr. Michelle, lab services, okay. So let's go down here. Is this lab services? Oh. Okay, so where am I now? Okay, so lab services was just that hallway, and then, okay. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splint still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. Don't know if you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm going to take my chances. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, dog. Let me know. Come on, Kate. Fight. And that's an order. The council called the invaders. It's so beautiful. Okay, so now let me just go explore. Oh my gosh, this is so, like, on, this is the, oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm just taking it all in. It's really beautiful. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Nothing in here. Okay, let me just make sure there's nothing over here, too. You know, just in case. No, I need to talk, no, nothing. I love how they do make it a lot easier to, for how to, find people because you just have to go on the floor you know and like uh, or the map and it just tells you like points of interest people which is so awesome poor Caden and poor Commander Shepard like he's obviously distraught <laughs> so now I'm going to the Citadel embassies okay so now okay so let's see what we got over here Okay, so yeah, this is good. Okay, I, I don't think there's anything over here, right? Yeah, it's just so I'm on four, two is where he goes. Okay, so I want to go and like explore everything except for two <laughs> because I want to do that last. Oh, look, look, it's Admiral Hackett. Join the fight, <laughs> advertising. <laughs> Love it. All right, so let's go this way. CSEC Commander Bailey. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. 
My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. And that's exactly how I would have done Impress. it. Impress. To see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. Never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Ah, oh, man. Oh, poor Bailey. Okay, so we are just looking around. Okay, nothing. I love it. Thanks, Bailey, for the chat. And what's over here? Oh my god, this is so cool! What is this? Spectre Terminal? Welcome. Welcome to the Spectre Information Processing Center. This terminal offers secure information access to su and support for authorization of covert operations or requisitions. It is restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and tactics and reconnaissance. Any operation requiring payment can be executed at the terminal nearby, which supports secure and untraceable financial transactions. Quarry and Fleet. Quarry and Pilgrim, Jen Volan, Nar Nima, on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Jen Volan purchased tech, including high-end weapon mounts and kinetic barrier emitters for several ships' service centers. On Ilium, Another Quarium Pilgrim, unidentified, was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The Pilgrim was later heard saying that the, his Pilgrim was recalled. Data suggests the Quarium fleet is withdrawing its Pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be preparing for conflicts with the Gath. Interesting. Okay, so good. Uh oh. Oh, we are broke though. We are broke. But these are beautiful weapons and one day we will have enough money to buy them. All right. So, let's yeah, so I'm going to go. Okay, so what's over here? Okay, so over here is nothing but beautiful. Be wait. Enter shooting range? Ah, oh, nah. Nah. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to enter it. Maybe, like, there'll be a part later in the game where we could play that with some another crew member or something, I'm thinking. You know? But, yeah, nah, I'm not interested by myself. <laughs> I, I, I've already got lots of practice. Okay. It's time to go here. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. 
And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <sighs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well... That went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Well. Well. So, now we have to go to Palvin. So excited. Kinsler, Adina, I don't know if I want to talk to you anymore. I don't like you. Ugh. I guess. The Council. You saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. 
Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. In Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like With Parliament destroyed... Rest assured. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. At the same time, though, you're the one that was like, I don't believe in the Reapers. They're just a myth, Commander. The Saren's using it to manipulate you. I mean, like, you did say that, you douche nozzle. And now they're here, and now you're like, oh, what do we do? We need to defend our planet. It's like, bitch, you had ample opportunity to get ahead of this. But no, you did not do anything. So, just saying. All right, hey, what's up, Bailey? Can I talk to you again? I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Anything important going on? <laughs> we got more ambassadors, but that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. All right, thanks, Bailey. I thought he might have something to say in addition to what we had already talked about. So I was like, let me get one more shot in there. Okay, so Council... Uh, Embassy, oh, oh gosh, her, and James is there, let me talk to James, where is James at, 
Uh, where is James? I don't see him. Okay, that's the biatch. Commander There's. Mm -hmm. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. In truth, I actually don't remember much or anything about James because, you know, unfortunately for him, he is on the crew. Okay, you know what? You know what? You cannot interrupt me, biatch, okay? I am talking right now, all right? Thank you. Anyway, so James is in Mass Effect 3 with these epic, epic crew members that we've had since, like, the beginning of the Mass Effect series. So he's kind of overpowered so I never use him but I'm excited to kind of explore his personality and get to know him a little bit more and this is a bitch that I'll just talk to I guess. Commander Shepard, Kalisa been seen in Aljilani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? The same thing I've been doing for the past three years. Find a way to stop the Reapers. Get some help, Kalisa. I have work to do. Oops, hold on, hold on. I meant to press the Paragon option. I didn't press it. I can't not, I can't not press Commander the Paragon Shepherd. option. Commander Shepard, Kalisa been seen in Aljilani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. That was a much, much, much better uh, <laughs> um, option, you know, and we just acquired a war asset. That's beautiful. Okay, so let me see. I think there's no one here. Yep. Okay, I can go. So I am now going to go, I guess, to the docking bay. I think I have to leave Caden here. Which is really now sad. Hold on. So what am I supposed to do, actually? Yeah, okay, Palavin. I am so excited to go to Palavin because this was talked about in Mass Effect Andromeda and I have no memory of it at all. Uh, so I'm excited. Okay, so let's go over here. Okay, so we're going to do door open. Yeah, return to the Normandy.
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Caden almost died on Mars. People around me have a tendency to get hurt. Or worse. Caden's a soldier. He knows the risks, as do you. And he's a fighter. He'll pull through. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive <laughs> your voice was. <laughs> anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Oh my gosh. 
I'm just so excited to play this game, but I have to end this part here because I have to go. <laughs> like, I have to physically leave my home, but I honestly would be totally here all day if I didn't have to. But thank you so much for joining me in this episode, and I will see you in the next part where we see everything about the Normandy and try to rescue this guy on Palavin. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.